everyone myself rishpa jain today we are going to continue chapter 2 for operations in previous parts we have started addition subtraction and multiplication now we are going to start division the symbol of division is a sleeping line with two dots one dot at the top of it and second at the bottom now the next point is terms related to division now we will take one example in which we will divide 369 by 3 three ones are 3 6 will be copied down 3 twos are 6 nothing is left 9 will be copied down 3 threes are nine. Now you can see we have got the answer in two terms. First, one twenty-three, and second, this cross. Cross means zero. Now, what will be called to all four numbers? The number which will be divided is known as dividend. The number. Which will divide the number is divisor, and the answers will be known as quotient and remainder. Why we will call the zero as remainder? The word remainder is having the word remain. It means left, and we can get the left after subtracting it. So this cross, it means the value of zero will be known as remainder. So, in short, we can say the terms related to division are first dividend, the number that will be divided; divisor, the number which will divide; quotient and remainder will be the outcomes of the division. Next point is checking of division. In division, we have a balanced equation by using it. We can check our answer. To know is the answer correct or not? What do you mean by balanced equation? Balanced equation is an equation in which both LHS and RHS are same. We can say both the sides are equal. The equation for checking the division sum is. Dividend should be equal to the product of quotient and divisor plus remainder. It means if the product of quotient and divisor plus remainder should, will be equal to dividend, so our answer is correct. So we are going to take the previous example that we have done in which the dividend is three sixty nine, the quotient is one twenty three. Divisor is three and the remainder is zero. So first we will multiply. Three threes are nine. Three twos are six. Three ones are three. Plus zero. If we will add zero to any number, we will get the number itself. If the RHS is equal to LHS, it means our answer is. means we can use this equation for checking our answer dividend is equals to quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder now the next point is division by 10 in its multiple in which the divisor will be 10 100 1000 420 etc 10 or its multiple now we are going to take examples the first is 900 63 divided by 10 second is 4382 divided by 100 4796 divided by 1000 1600 divided by 400 2480 divided by 20 so if we are dividing by 10 and 1000 we can follow a pattern the number of zeros this side the number of remainder from the extreme right in the dividend here one zero so one digit from the 
right hand side will be remainder and the rest will be quotient. In 100 we have two zeros. So last two digits will be remainder and rest will be quotient. Here is three zeros. So last three digits will be remainder and rest will be quotient. But if we have the divisor as the multiple of 10 except 10 hundred thousand like 420. So the zeros will be cancelled first. 2 zero will be cancelled with 2. Now divide the rest. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Nothing is left. So remainder will be 0. Now 1 zero will be cancelled with 1. Now start dividing 248 by 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. It has been divided completely. So the remainder will be 0. Now, the one thing that you have to keep in your mind, if you are dividing by 10, 100 and 1000, so the number of zeros in the divisor decides the number of digits in remainder from extreme right in dividend and the rest digits will be quotient in dividend. Now, the next point is estimating the quotient by rounding off the dividend and divisor. In this the state, statement is telling itself, first you will round off, estimate the dividend or divisor and then find the quotient. So we are going to take one example. 1208 divided by 42. So first you will round the dividend and divisor both. 42 will be rounded as 40 and 1208 will be rounded as 1200. Now we will divide. The 0 will be cancelled with 0. Now, 4, 3 is 12 and 1 0 will be left. So, 0. So, the quotient, estimated quotient for this question is 30. The keywords that can help to recognize that division operation will be applied on the problem sums are out of every equal parts evenly each divided by average quotient. Now it's time to practice the question. So your homework is do question 1 A C E G part, question 2 A C E G part and question 3 and 4 of exercise 2 E in copy. Do one extra question given in your copy and then do mental maths of page number 77 in book. Exercise and mental maths both can be found on page number 77. After doing the answers, you can check your answer from the answer key. Now, before finding today's class, I just want to say stay home, stay safe and please like and subscribe my channel to get the notification for the latest update as soon as possible. And viewers, kindly mention your name, class and section in comment box.